folded into four and if you notice you see this side that is not doesn't have a cut that's the side you get your neck and your hand because you don't need to cut it again it's as simple as that so the bust I'm using is 40 and uh, because it's folded into four I'm going to measure out 10 which means 40 divided by 4 because it's folded into four And the amp, the amp hole is just like I'll use, you can use from 9 to 10, 11, 12, depend on your size. The amp hole I'm going to use for this tutorial will be 11. So I'll measure it from here. I'll use this to mark it out. 11. And then the bust, like I said, is 10. But before then, I want to measure out the neckline. The neckline, which is the side that doesn't have any opening. That's where your neck is going to be. Look at it here. 
so like in that tutorial in the in the, the other one i wore it was the front was a v-neck and the back was a high neck if you want to make it round you can make it round you cut it out three by three length and width and just draw round circle and cut it off but in this one i'm going to make the back high neck and the front v-neck So I'll measure out half an inch for the back side. And then I'll make it three and half. Well, because of this material, it's, a bit, it's elastic, it, it draws. So I'll make it three. Because when I'll fold it in, I'll get a three and a half. I hope you can see it, three inches from the neck and half inches for the back because it's high neck at the back and then I measure three inches again down for the front. So you connect it. If you have a ruler for connection, you can go ahead and use your ruler, but I don't mind using my hand to draw it. So you cut off the back side first. Okay. And then the front, because it's only the front, and this claw is folded, you don't have to open it up. So you just give it a mark. Just open it from the front here, like that, a little bit, and just cut it out. the neck done and then the next thing we'll have to do now is to measure out the bust the bust I'm using is 40 divided by 4 because it's folded into 4 so I'll use 10 so in order to make it not to be too tight I'll make it 10 and half this is my 10 and half so I'll just mark it out there. And then my amp hole, like I told you, I'm using 11. So it stops for there. So the length I'm using is 25. So I'll make it 27 for the hemming. Because at the end, you have to hem it round. So it's 27, I mark it out. So the, the length of the hand that I want to use in this tutorial is 23. So it's 22, but I'm adding one inch for her minute. So you mark it out. Rather 22. 22 will be fine. So that it won't be too long. So I mark it out. Mark out 23. 22 rather, sorry. So I'm using 22 for the length and remember the bust I marked out is just where to put your where to sew it in the middle and the bust side so that when you sew it you have like a little bit seven inches I'll show you that let me cut out the material first so it's 23 long with the hand you just mark it out so that you can connect it 22 I keep making mistake I'm using 22 not 23 so, and the length 
was 27 25 but I added 2 inches for hem and you can add 1 inch it depends on what you want so now you connect it mark out 22 22 22 and 27 so you have to then connect it so what you do is you connect it when you draw this 23 22 22 straight line you can draw a straight line then you connect it here curving i hope you're seeing it this is the length 22 22 and 22 the hands and the length so what you do is instead of connecting it straight from here making it straight you curve it going that way I'll bring the camera close connect it like that curve curve it curve it that way see the curve instead of going straight you can use ruler and just straighten it out then you curve it out at the bottom here so that I give you that flay circular top and then that is it and uh, remember i said the amp hole that i needed was 11 so i've already measured it out here which is here 11 so this is the 10 this is 11 the amp hole so and this is the bust 10 that i marked out so what you do is just you start to stitch it here and then just measure out like 7 inches long or 8 let me see depends on the length of the person you're sewing for or you're sewing for yourself if you're a very tall person you can make it up to 9 but in this tutorial I'm going to use just sew it like from here to 8 just make it 8 That's it. So you can draw a line like that. So then when you go to the machine, you know exactly what to sew from the ample 11 here. I'm not going to sew there. I'm just showing you what I marked out. So it's from here. Just You don't have to sew here. This is where the hand will come out. Sew from here to here. And then what I normally do is I can use pin. You can use pin to just pin it from here to here so you know exactly where you're. So I'll mark it out just the 7 inches. Just mark it out just the 7 inches. Like I said, you can mark it longer, maybe down here. You can make it shorter. It depends on how you really want up and down just to be free. So I use 11, 8 inches to sewing. So what I normally do is I use pin to hold it so that I know where to sew when I get to the machine. So easy enough, I use pin to just mark out the beginning and the end of it. So I'll go ahead now and cut off the material. So I'm cutting it now.
so that is it that's the circular top now and uh, what i did is i've done the one side how to stitch it here so just to make it easier i just like to do everything in one so that it will be easier when you get to the machine just hold it a bit backwards and press the pin down to know exactly where you're going to pin so that's it here mark it out and connect it and then use pin to hold it use pin to hold it so to make it more easier when you get to the machine and it wouldn't be rumbling up and down i use pin again to hold the shoulders it helps to keep it firm when you're sewing it especially when you're using light fabrics So that's it, that's the cutting done. And now I'm going to take it to the machine and then I will stitch here, front and back, hem the neck and hem the bottom here. And then attach the design, the, the design if you want, you know, the details on the cloth if you want. So now I'm sewing it on my machine as you can see. I will sew the places that I have the pins on. And then I'll do the neck. I'll do the neck with um, bias. So first thing I have to do now is to sew the middle part, the body. So remember I put pin on it so this is where it starts and this is where it's gonna end so I already put my pin so remove the pin so always remember to backstitch very important to backstitch that's one side done And the other side I'm going to sew now I have my pin to remind me so I remove the pin
so that's the body of the dress stone I will show you that's the body done so I've stitched the two sides from outside like I told you like I said earlier on you stitch from outside so it's done now the next thing I'm going to do is the neck I'll do the neck with a bias So this is the bias I'm going to use. It's a red bias. So if you don't know what's a bias, just ask your local store where they sell sewing materials. Just say bias. And uh, one of these days I'm going to do a tutorial on how to attach bias to a dress. It's normally used for the neck. And uh, it's pretty easier than trying to cut out another material for it. But if you don't have a bias, you can cut out materials left over and use it for the neck. But I normally use bias because it's pretty easier and it makes the clothes very smooth. So I'm going to sew on the bias to the neck. So in this case, you're going to use the bias. Start from the right side so you go from the right side of the dress and turn the bias right face to right the bias right facing the right side of the dress So I'm going to say round the dress. So I have finished attaching the bias on, on the next sec section of it. And if you can see, I attach it from the front side. So right now I'm going to fold it inside and sew it again like that. Like that. Fold it back. And then sew it round the neck again. I have finished the neckline. As you can see, I've done the bias thing. And it's really nice. So this is how it's going to come out. Touch it from the inside and fold it inside and sew it down to the machine again. So the neckline is done. It's lovely. Can't you see? It's nice. So the last thing I'm going to do now is to hem the round of the top so what I'm going to do now is bring my machine and then hem the down part of it from outside no from the wrong side you fold it into two one this way and another two inside then you have to sew it down just keep round round and round until you finish it so you just keep going round into two like this and just hem it down to make it look 